The standard shift in these factories is from 8 a.m. until 10 or 11 p.m., 14 or 15 hours a day, seven days a week. All overtime is mandatory. On average, the women receive just two days off a month. When there is a rush to complete orders before a shipment must leave for the United States, there are grueling forced all night 19 to 20 hour shifts from 8 a.m. straight through until 3 or 4 the next morning. At the end of the shift, the workers curl up on the factory floor next to their sewing machines and sleep for three or four hours before their next shift begins at 8 a.m. The women report being cursed and shouted at, and even being slapped, punched, and hit for working too slowly or making even the smallest perceived error. For people who have their jobs now, who have not lost jobs, they have to really put their hands to the plow. They have to really be productive for those employees employers and uh, really try to be a valuable contributing member of that business establishment. The sewing operators are paid 11 to 17 cents an hour, as little as five dollars and 28 cents a week. The helpers, the young girls who clean the garments by cutting off the loose threads, earn less than eight cents an hour, as little as three dollars and 84 cents a week. And so we have to just, we have to do the necessary in these times uh, to really survive. These are starvation wages which trap the workers and their families in misery. But it also requires a large number of foreign experts. If you want a business like that, you can't be in the business of saying there's too many foreign workers in the Bahamas. In fact, in the developing world, the corporations have almost wiped out the cost of labor. The workers have no rights. If they are even seen meeting with union leaders, they are fired. If management discovers that the workers are trying to organize a union, they will be beaten, fired, and often imprisoned on trumped-up charges. For people who have lost their jobs, there are still some niche areas that people can take advantage of. It just means you gotta, you gotta, you gotta adjust your mindset. Uh, uh, there are services that people still require, whether those are landscaping services or household services. I met a lady who, she says she's uh, she's doing ironing now, she's doing maid services now, she's doing landscaping services. She said because you know she lost her job and she has to make ends meet. Captive insurance, external insurance is an area where if you get the business, it creates hundreds and hundreds of employment opportunities, but it also requires a large number of foreign experts. Here's the definition of expert, a person who is very knowledgeable about or skillful in a particular area. If you want a business like that, you can't be in the business of saying there's too many foreign workers in the Bahamas. Uh, and over time, we all win. That's, that's what I'm talking about.